Adolf Hitler was a fanatical leader, a megalomaniac who led his country and many others into the abyss. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down the most brutal, horrific, and despicable world leaders in history. Stalin remains one of the greatest villains of the 20th century. Number 10, Saddam Hussein, Iraq. Saddam Hussein had a certain straightforward, brutal efficiency as he propelled himself towards absolute control of Iraq. Within a week of taking power, Iraqi President Saddam Hussein arrested and massacred all his rivals within the Ba'ath Party. It was a horrific foreshadowing of the next two bloody decades. Hussein invaded Iran and later Kuwait, which ultimately devastated his own economy. The Iran-Iraq war lasted for eight years and cost hundreds of thousands of lives. The thing that has been avoided is the links that he had with the United States. There are pictures of him in Rumsfeld, I think, aren't there? And uh, the Americans armed him, backed him when the Shah was overthrown. Despite these failures, he maintained power through horrific repression and violence. He brutalized and slaughtered Shia and Kurdish minorities, killing tens of thousands of innocent civilians. Hussein remained in power until the 2003 invasion of Iraq. He was executed two years later. We never thought that Saddam would be removed. Never. So when I saw them, I felt hope. Number 9. Idi Amin. Uganda. Idi Amin was a brutal dictator, one of the worst of the last hundred years. Fearing arrest for corruption, Ugandan General Idi Amin took power in 1971 through a violent military coup. His eight-year reign was marked by ethnic cleansing, corruption, and murder. Idi Amin tried to give himself these sophisticated titles, His Excellency, President for Life, Dr. al Haji Idi Amin, king of all the beasts on the earth and the fishes in the sea. Within a year, he purged Uganda of East Asians, expelling tens of thousands. He purged the military of Acholi and Lango ethnic minorities, disappearing hundreds of people. The purging spread through Ugandan society. It was a terrible period, unprecedented in the history of Uganda. Amin silenced all dissident voices and dumped their bodies in the Nile. Amnesty International estimated that Amin killed upwards of half a million of his own people. Eventually, Amin alienated enough rivals to get usurped and pushed into permanent exile. He died in 2003 from kidney failure. Number 8. Hideki Tojo, Japan He has promised Japan a mighty empire, and he means to deliver. As Imperial Japan entered World War II, General Hideki Tojo coalesced all power behind himself. In addition to being Prime Minister, Tojo represented much of his own cabinet. He indoctrinated Japanese youth through nationalist education and suffused Japanese culture with supremacist ideology, justifying years of atrocities against so-called lesser races. Tojo greenlit the use of illegal chemical and biological weapons in China. He instituted forced labor regimes, brutalizing POWs and civilians alike. He authorized human experimentation through his secret Unit 731. Unit 731 causes the excruciating deaths of some 12,000 innocent people in experiments that defy comprehension. By the end of the war, Imperial Japan was responsible for the deaths of millions of civilians, perhaps up to 30 million across East Asia and the South Pacific. Tojo was arrested at the end of the war and executed by a military tribunal. The International Military Tribunal for the Far East sentences you to death by hanging. Number 7. Mehmed Talat, Ottoman Empire Mehmed Talat, also known as Talat Pasha, was the Minister of the Interior of the Ottoman Empire. Despite his title, he all but ran the nation until he formalized his power as Grand Vizier in 1917. Talat was the leading figure in the persecution of Armenians by the Ottoman Turks. Fearing Armenian independence, Talat ordered the arrest of prominent Armenians in Constantinople. Some were deported, but many were killed. This kicked off a wholesale slaughter of Armenians so widespread that a new word eventually had to be coined, despite Turkey's protestations, to describe the violence, genocide. <laughs> By the time of Pasa's assassination in 1921, nearly one million Armenian lives had been taken. Number 6. Augusto Pinochet, Chile Even today, the atrocities of the Pinochet era haven't all been addressed. Augusto Pinochet overthrew his predecessor in a U.S.-backed coup in 1973. To the world, Pinochet represented the face of a reformer. He stabilized Chile's free-falling economy, bringing free market capitalism to Chile. Under his leadership, Chile had one of the best economies in Latin America. Under the surface, however, Pinochet was a stone-cold monster. His secret police would often arrest and disappear opposition figures in the dead of night. Between two and 4,000 were murdered.
Upwards of 35,000 Chileans were arrested. The horrific mistreatment Pinochet inflicted upon them is beyond description. Since the transition to democracy, there have been minor reforms, but the core of the Pinochet constitution has remained largely unchanged. Number five, Leopold II, Belgium. European countries participated in the so-called scramble for Africa. They colonized 90% of the continent, exploiting African resources and enriching their countries. In Belgium, they called Leopold II the Builder King. He enacted social and economic reforms and commissioned dozens of public works. In Africa, King Leopold went by another name, the Butcher of the Congo. Leopold II wanted to acquire what he called a slice of this magnificent African cake. His mercenary army extracted the Congo's rubber wealth, filling Leopold's personal coffers. Leopold never visited the nation, yet he left an indelible mark. Failure to meet his quota of rubber was paid for in blood. His soldiers cut off the hands of the people they murdered as proof. Around 10 million Congolese men, women, and children were killed or died from famine and disease. After being forced to relinquish the colony, he ordered the Congolese archive burned. Leopold said, they have no right to know what I did there. Yet it took the recent emergence of the Black Lives Matter movement to question why Leopold is still celebrated in Belgium. Number four, Mao Zedong. China. He's sometimes called the worst mass murderer in the history of tyrants. Mao Zedong led his communist revolutionaries against the imperial Japanese during World War II. After the war, he consolidated power in China under communist rule. The Red Leader's blueprint for conquest, protracted guerrilla war, united front, elimination of all opposition has accomplished its aims. He instituted land reform, seizing private land by force. Over half a million dissenters were persecuted. In 1958, Mao initiated the Great Leap Forward campaign to transform China's economy. The transition from an agrarian economy to an industrial powerhouse was wildly successful, but China paid for this success in a staggering toll of human lives. The transition created a countrywide famine. Anywhere between 50 and 55 million Chinese died between 1958 and 1962. It ranks alongside the gulags and the Holocaust as one of the three greatest events of the 20th century. His subsequent cultural revolution, a violent class struggle, led to hundreds of thousands more deaths. Number three, Pol Pot, Cambodia. The fall of Phnom Penh to the Khmer Rouge was met with rejoicing in the streets of the city. But within hours, the mood abruptly changed. Pol Pot was a Cambodian communist revolutionary who led the ethno-nationalist Khmer Rouge. He believed in a Cambodian resurrection of the ancient Angkorian Empire, launching attacks on Vietnam and Thailand. The Khmer Rouge acted with brutal savagery within Cambodia. He also launched a civil war, seizing power in 1975. The Khmer Rouge then emptied every town and city in the country. Nobody was excused, not even the elderly or infirm. Anyone who refused or moved too slowly was killed. Within weeks, only 10,000 key factory workers, soldiers, and officials remained. The survivors were sent to forced labor farms, the infamous killing fields. Those seen as being disloyal, not hardworking enough, or guilty of such minor offenses as hunting rats for food, could be taken away and murdered. Intellectuals and professionals were murdered along with their families. All told, between one and two million died during the Cambodian genocide. Number two, Joseph Stalin, Union of Soviet Socialist Republics, USSR. In terms of ruthlessness, uh, bloodlust, Stalin remains one of the greatest villains of the 20th century. Joseph Stalin's 29-year reign saw the USSR transform into one of the world's great superpowers. That transformation cost tens of millions of Russian lives. His land seizure campaign included the purposeful murder by starvation of millions of Ukrainian farmers and villagers. During what many historians term Stalin's reign of terror, no one was safe from his ambition. Stalin expanded the size and scope of the Soviet secret police. He turned the Soviet Union into a police state where neighbors spied on neighbor. Millions were killed or vanished into gulags. Even conservative estimates make Stalin responsible for the death of more than 4% of his country's entire population. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few dishonorable mentions. Caligula, Rome. Sadistic emperor reveled in excess and the suffering of his people. The young Roman emperor had a fearsome reputation as a sadist, murderer, and raving lunatic. Vlad III, Wallachia. Vlad the Impaler killed many of his own people. So one of his tactics was to capture prisoners and then impale them. Kim Jong-il, North Korea. Instead of feeding North Korea, Kim repressed and starved it. One of the most notorious dictators in history. A man with a passion for banquets, cognac, and Bond movies. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications.
Number one, Adolf Hitler, Germany. Adolf Hitler was a fanatical leader, a megalomaniac who led his country and many others into the abyss. Adolf Hitler's rule in Nazi Germany was the nadir of humanity. His fiery rhetoric set Germany ablaze with nationalistic fervor during the Great Depression. His speeches and beliefs spread, monstrously scapegoating Jews for Germany's problems. After gaining power through intimidation and propaganda and then subverting democracy, Hitler brought total war to Europe and the world. World War II was fought on six of the seven continents. 50 million people perished. He then planned and carried out the Holocaust, the most horrifyingly systematic mass murder of humans in history. Six million Jewish people were deliberately murdered in death camps. Hitler persecuted, enslaved, and murdered millions more gays, Poles, Slavs, people with disabilities, and other victims of his insane ideology. We'll be endlessly fascinated by what A drove him and B, why the German people decided to follow him. Please share your thoughts on history's most brutal and evil dictators below. Let us reflect together on the somber lessons we can learn from their dark legacies. People were no better or worse. They were no stronger or weaker in the past. So how can we avoid repeating some of those same mistakes?